Hello, well, I decided to start uh, my video, like a video journey uh, on my own channel so to also I can just track stuff that there been happening. So, oh sorry with the phone. Um, so my name is Miriam and then I'm a personal trainer and a fitness instructor. And this series of videos, um, I want to just help out people and see too also if other people are going through the same stuff that that I am. Um, a few months ago already I uh, started feeling some different stuff on like nerve related but the doctors couldn't pinpoint what it was the problem so um, usually I, well, I do CrossFit too. Uh, last time when we went to a competition and um, because my bad wrist after a fracture wasn't strong enough I kind of feel like I push harder with my right arm and I was in pain for uh, like a couple months and I thought it was just like I pulled a muscle or something um, but then it started getting worse and worse uh, pr a few months prior what it was happening it was like half my chest was totally numb for no reason but my strength was the same I was feeling fine so they you know they check my heart and stuff and everything is perfect they do blood test and everything is perfect so eventually uh, they Oh, one day doing also on CrossFit, we were doing wall balls and a bunch of wall balls. And I started feeling uh, pain on like, I shouldn't pain from my elbows, like when you hit your funny bone. Um, and then I had to stop because I couldn't do it and I couldn't uh, also jump on the box, right? So it was just like strange. So I'm like, okay, maybe I just, I'm just tired and maybe the way I'm pressing and like I'm holding the ball or something. So um, I let it go uh, because I had a fracture of, on my wrist uh, about September. I was doing my recertification for a kango jumps and my boot broke and then I fell and uh, so I, I fractured my wrist. Um, I was having some kind of um, finger spasm. My hand was going into spasm and they were just getting stuck all the time. So I told the hand surgeon, he's like, well, I don't know what's, what's that. Your hand, your bone is healed and I don't understand what is that happening. So pretty much he told me, well, you're going to have to live with it. So I'm like, oh, well, that's just great. So anyway, I went on with my life and just trying to every time that my, my finger got like something like this stuck or on the side, like my hand will, I will get the mail, try to bend my hand and it will get just stuck like that. Uh, well, I just learned to go through stuff, so I just let it pass. But my shoulder, then I start feeling like this pain going from uh, the back, like the trapezius going on my shoulder, my tricep going around my forearm and shooting on my fingers. I'm like, okay, no, I think this is just a pinch nerve. So I went and I told the doctor, um, and well, they suggest an x-ray, and of course the x-rays didn't show nothing. Then they do an ultrasound and then um, they found that my bursa sac was leaking but um, the doctor said that you need an MRI because the pain that you describe it uh, looks like it's a, a nerve. So then they do an MRI, so on an MRI they show that uh, two of my, my discs, the 5, 6 and the 6, 7 are degenerating. Um, the problem is that they, my the spinal cord is very narrowing, like it's narrowing because they're pushing, right? So of course when they push, then they're pushing the nerve and they're squeezing and they're pinching the nerve. So, um, well, I've got a few visits going to the dog, to the hospital emergency because the pain was unbearable. Like this is one of the worst pains ever. I mean, I have my gallbladder removed and I, I have to say that's worse than labor pains, um, gallbladder pain. And then it will be like, well, labor pain, I watched actually, well, it was bad, but uh, this, this pain is just like, it's, it's just different. And uh, nothing makes it better. Um, it's 24 seven and sometimes it's worse. Um, so they gave me medication um, and really nothing works. So then they gave me gabapentin and then we start with low dose. Um, my uh, doctor when saw the results said no no you really need higher dose because this is just not gonna work that's why it's not working so I gave me double like more doses like 600 milligrams so that's a lot um, 
So it, it just told me that probably will make me tired. Uh, well, I don't know why, but um, it's just different. Like I'm different, I guess. Uh, it doesn't make me tired. It just actually makes me very hyper. So I was just like, ooh, so active, right? Now my training, I still train. I don't, um, of course, I can't do anything. It's overhead. Um, my hand, what I've been noticing is my, I, I drop things. I can, I can handle things as before like I keep dropping them uh, I'm like clumsy uh, so it's, it's for sure is getting my arm is becoming weak and weak every time uh, so I use my left still I get affected on my left arm uh, they're always tingling uh, and then it's um, like these like uh, pins and needles that's how it feels now I'm feeling it right to my leg um, my right leg is not steady. It's not. It's not the same balance that uh, than the left one for some reason. So I guess it's just all connected, right? And then it's squeezing one part of your spine, of course. So it's affecting everything. Um, what can what else I have to say? Um, so jumping, I uh, jumping is is bad. Like I get those shooting pains from my elbows. So the pain. How to describe the pain is like certain moves. It will just trigger more that sharp. Uh, phony bone pain you know when you hit your your elbow is exactly that the pain it just shoots and um, I mean this this pain this 24 7 pain that it doesn't go away it goes from the neck all the way down to your fingers and is horrible I have to say it's terrible um, so I had to wait for my neurosurgeon that uh, to get an appointment and that be on uh, Kingston and they told me that pretty much you know the fastest it can be is like one month to who knows so it really sucks because I had to stop already one of my class my classes and um, I really didn't want to stop my class uh, kangaroo jumps but I can't jump anymore and right now what I was a little bit more concerning is that I was driving coming back from training and uh, I got disoriented like I was driving and I was confused I didn't know where I had to go uh, I had to stop actually and I felt like just like something wrong so eventually I kind of just calmed down and stuff and then I just drove and I was able to make it home but I'm not I'm not sure what is that that's something new um, kind of concerning uh, yes I kind of push a little bit more on my training uh, or what I can do because I don't want to stop this is my job this is my life you know this is what I do so I just want to keep posting to see to have it for me and if I can help somebody that's going through the same or if you have the same or uh, please I, I don't know if this is a medication that make me feel disoriented or is part of the same nerve issue that it's just maybe affecting some other areas or something i'm not sure okay so i want to just keep track of this and uh, well let's hope for the best and um, all what we can do is just uh, you know keep going and keep working and just being strong okay bye